Right, the view's up. Clear sky. It'll be quite cold tonight. So, wild camp in the back garden. Obviously, the only place that we can wild camp at the moment. Got my little uh, UCO candle lantern in there, but I've got my little electric flickering one as well. Snowpack softy. Nice thick roll mat. I'll bring my coffee pot and everything in in a bit. Get it all kitted out. So we go. Plan is night in the Levu tonight. Just like being on the moor, but not on the moor. And as I said, it is a really gorgeous evening. Oh, Venus is out. We'll get the telescope on the go in a bit, I think. But uh, I think it's going to be hot tub time first. Hot tub. And then the view. Right, the view's up. Clear sky, and I'm wild camping in the back garden. I've got my fire lit. The view's there, all set up ready. And I'm coming out to have a, a beer and a cigar. And uh, it's like being on the moor, but I'm not on the moor and I'm not with my mates, but I'm still wild camping. Venus is out in the sky, it's lovely and clear. I don't know if I can be bothered to get the telescope out though, because Jupiter and stuff isn't out till probably half three, four o'clock in the morning. But uh, yeah, it's nice sitting here. If you can't go out to camp, stay in and camp. Cool. Right, wild camping tonight in the back garden, <coughs> and I can't do this and I only go wild camping, but I'm in the hot tub, and it's absolutely bliss. I've got my wall eater on up there, and we are currently 8 degrees in here, uh, outside, and we are 12 degrees in here, and I've only just put the heater on. And this is absolute heaven. You gotta have your little luxuries during lockdown at the end of the day. If you're stopping in your house and your garden all the time, you go stir crazy if you didn't do just something a little bit different. So uh, it's about 10 o'clock, I think. No, yeah, 10 past 10. I've had a few beers. I'll probably have another beer in a bit or bottle of plump water um, on the computer a bit and then I'll get in the pit in another hour I'll lie in my sleeping bag and watch a film in the tent and pretend I'm in the middle of nowhere so uh, yeah it's forecasting gorgeous day tomorrow 19 degrees got plenty of food in the fridge we're gonna have a barbecue and just a day chilling out and drinking because you can't drive anywhere so no I'm having a drink so yeah Hope everybody's staying safe and everybody's making the most that they can out of these difficult times. And uh, I'll catch you in a bit when I'm in me love you. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Well, I'm in the Levu. and I've got my little UCO candle, a little LED light to the side, a little bit of light while I'm filming, but I've got my UCO candle, and uh, it's the first time I've spent the night in my Levu in the back garden, but obviously with everything that's going on, where else can you camp? So the family's all tucked up inside. It's been uh, 
I'd say I was in weight last night, but it's been a nice night, nice day. It's promising a cracking day weather-wise tomorrow. So I'm just going to watch a bit of YouTube, I think, for half an hour on my phone. And uh, I'm going to get the sack. But, uh, you know, we've just got to make sure that we social distance. We don't go out any more than we have to. I can't believe when the last video I did when I was walking around the graveyard and we went to visit Molly Lee. They literally day after the whole country would come to a grinding halt maybe it should have happened earlier who knows but uh, we've just got to get through the next week really seven to ten days and then hopefully we should start seeing a, a dramatic drop off which would be nice and uh, who knows we might even be able to wild camp properly for the solstice on the 21st of June let's keep our fingers crossed um, so Good night, and uh, I'll see you in the morning, even though the house is only, like, out there. I have brought my little kettle in, so I can make myself a brew in the morning while I'm lying in my pit. Uh, and just, you know, pretend that I'm actually not in my back garden, even though I can hear the hum of the hot tub in the distance, and a lot more cars and stuff than normal, but it's pretty quiet where I live, so it's not bad. So, yeah, I'll... Um, Catch you in the morning. Cheers. Right, morning all from uh, Camp Gordon. Uh, I didn't fall asleep till quite late, to be honest with you. It was weird camping in the back garden. And um, there's one benefit, though. Um, you don't have to go far to go to the toilet. So the toilet facilities are excellent. You've not got to dig a hole or anything. Say no more. Um, it's got brilliant Wi-Fi. Uh, and I didn't actually bother making a brew in here this morning because obviously my kitchen is all of, you know, 50 yards away. So, yeah, and I was nice and toasty. So I've got to pack it all away now. And... Um, Get the garden back to normality ready for the barbecue this afternoon so um, hopefully you're all staying safe <coughs> watching some footage um, earlier on of a park in London which I've just found out they've had to close the park down due to the fact loads of people were picnicking and everything in there which is absolutely ridiculous why can't people understand the sooner that we just stay indoors and then uh, this damn thing will go away <coughs> It's just going to go on for months and months if we carry on behaving like children. So, um, yeah, I hope you're all safe. I hope none of your family are affected um, directly by this coronavirus. And, um, you know, obviously until next time, um, stay safe as always. Thanks very much. Bye. Miles and miles.